Welcome back, guys, to Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. After completing a kind of castle and reaping a lot of money from it and gaining the Elegy of Emptiness, not that I'll remember how to play that song until I look into the menu again, come back here to the dawn of the first day. But before I did that, out of episodes out here, I found myself a fair few rupees from those zombies because those 500 rupee trips back and forth were very, very good, very, very fast, a very lucrative way to make a lot of rupees as fast as possible. So we only need a little bit more in order to reach that golden 5,000 numbers you guys keep saying in the comments lately. To get ourselves yet another heart piece, and another heart piece will of course give us our 17th heart container, just as we're about to head in for the boss, or at least the whole temple. So let's get those rupees straight away here. Make the jump, nicely done. We'll pick up 100 rupees round the corner here. Our new favourite place to pick them up, more or less. I didn't have to enter a code which everyone knows off by heart now. I, I, I dare any of you viewers to not know the code now. I mean, it's drilled into my head. I'm sure it's drilled into yours as well as 52143. I'd be slightly tempted. Hello there, cafe. We'll be dealing with you soon enough. Slightly tempted to use five number combinations as passwords for things, but that would be too ridiculously easy for people to know what my password was if I was to use 52143, so no way in hell. Deposit rupees 100 we're going to deposit, sir. We know. How many rupees do I have? 4,927 in the bank, you say? Yes, I am very, very rich. Can your thing even store that many rupees? What? You're really going to give me that much? Yeah, I know we're a rich little guy. 5,027 rupees. What's this? You've already saved up 5,000? Well, little guy, I can't take any more deposits. Sorry, but this is all I can give you. We get ourselves a piece of heart, a new heart container, 17 hearts done before we head to the temple. And we can't deposit any more, supposedly, but we don't need to. Monetarily, we should be sorted. We shouldn't need any more. So, now it's off to the next temple. Take us to Akana Canyon. Of course, we shouldn't need to sort anything outside, and that's since we've got the song. We can just head in and start completing puzzles. And mind you, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to cut a bit of this grass and try to pick up a few consumables, like arrows and bombs would be good straight off. A fairy wouldn't be too bad either. Pick up that one fairy in a bottle. We're obviously going to need arrows in this dungeon. Maybe not the Gibdo Mask. Maybe we should use the Gibdo Mask. Not that we need the money anymore, but being able to completely disable them and stop them humping my face is generally a good thing. Yes, I know lots of evil intent and stuff going on around here. We're dodging the zombies. Hang straight enough. Actually, we need the Gorm Mask to even get in, don't we? Oh, I'll change when I'm there. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. Just a little bit more. And we will begin the next temple of the game. Damn you, bird! Attacking me in the face! Right. Elegy of emptiness, you say? There's gonna be a lot of mask swapping in this dungeon, I imagine. Considering the fact that we need to make lots of fake pictures of ourselves. Or fake images. Not that I think a Goron can make those jumps, however, so let's go. Find out exactly where I'm going soon enough. Right, we need the hook shot first off. Okay, what's that switch do? Interesting. Why would I need to do that? Interesting question here. It's red as well. So if I'm to take the colours literally, that would mean Goron Link. So let's check the Elegy of Emptiness. Find out exactly how to play it. Right, left, right, down, right, up, left. Never gonna remember that. Let's give it a go. Not remembered already. I'm not gonna remember as well in Goron Link's kind of way of playing it. Right, left, right. So I was right there. Right, left, right, down, right, up, left.
It's hard to remember it because of its general rhythm. We make a Goron statue guy who doesn't look so derpy. There's normal Link there. You can stand on that switch. I don't know why, but we're just going to keep you there. That's basically what we're going to do. I don't know if these switches are color coded or anything like that, but we'll see if you do anything special. Don't land on me, boulder! Oh, the boulders get stopped. And there's another red switch there. Hello, Beamos. If we shoot you directly in the eye, we should be fine. Otherwise, it's bombing you all the way. I know we can't shoot you this side. What does Tassel say about it? Don't let its beam scare you, just give it a good blast! So it's the bomb route then. That stuns it, but doesn't kill it. Would you like a bomb, sir? I'm gonna hide in this corner, you're gonna explode, we're all gonna be good, unless you land on me. Okay, so we've got another switch here. Sends that upwards. Well, that's complicated. Okay. Right, with that in mind, let's stick another person on this bit, if I can even remember the song. Oh, I need to put the mask on first. They're not colour coordinated, anyway. And see what Zora Link looks like in a statue format. Oh, he looks cool as well, apart from his white eyes. So why is it only Link that looks completely derpy? Does they give him a really, really ugly face in that statue? It's quite disturbing, in fact. Not that I demand all my Links to look attractive or anything, but it's not as derpy as they have been. Alright, so that goes up even further if we do that. Well, let's just leave Human Link here, the derpy derpy Link. That's not actually uh, that hard a tone to learn when you think about it. it's going right down, right up, left, so it's going all the way around the controller halfway through. Let there be Derplink! Derplink! He's got normal eyes and a cheesy smile. What's going on? Right, let's take these jumps. Okay, that jump was not very good. I feel like I should be taking these jumps with a bunny hood, really. Right, what do these do? Ow, sir, that hurt! Get hook shotted. Also, stop burning. I imagine that these switches are the same as those switches. Bring them up, yes? I don't know how to put it, so I hope that's right. We'll find out if we need to press any switches as we move further along, that's for sure. Okay, another switch. This is very confusing. Deku Link, you're going to have to take the four now. I have a feeling this is going to be one incredibly confusing dungeon. The real question is, are we even in the dungeon yet? Oh, Deku Link can't actually stand on the switch no matter what, of course, because he's just too small. Unless the, uh, the fake one of him can. I don't know about that. Unless the fake Deku Link is a bit heavier. Let's see how he looks. Guessing he'll have the white eyes as well. All the same, you thought two Deku Links would be good enough. And he's actually just more or less a sprout without any clothes on whatsoever. It seems I'm going to have to transport the images over of me. Ooh, I can't destroy the, uh, the switches. That's interesting. So I actually have to move all the elegies by warping them to some other location. I feel there's going to be a lot of music playing in this dungeon. 
but then I'm not sure if we're actually in the dungeon yet. The main reason for that is we haven't actually got a dungeon map. We bought the map for Stone Tower. Alright, that moved him along there. So I can play that song fast enough, but this song plays very, very slowly otherwise. Hopefully Dirt Blink is good enough to be on that switch from that corner. Yes, I know you're going to head down, but I'm guessing... Let's actually do an experiment. I'm guessing that that's what these switches were for. Yes, these switches are to do that again. So we can build ourselves back a path if we need to. So we know, we've now learned, of course, that Deku Link is going to be fairly useless in this quest for getting up high. Another thing to guess is, if this is a dungeon, then a fairy surely would have been in this room. So I assume we haven't entered yet. We left Derp Link there, let's find our way up higher. Yes, Beam Master, you can't get me through the, the, the pillar, it's a bit silly of you. I could just run up to it with the exploding mask and take it that way. Ow, ow, ow. Well, I was pretty pleased with the dead shot that got him in the end, but uh, then I ran into a boulder and I wasn't so proud of myself anymore. Come on then, go on Link, the one that actually looks cool. I'm guessing the other one's going to move now as well. Through the boulders, in fact. Okay, we're building ourselves our next path forward. Let's do it. Oh, I did the song run for once. It's not that hard if you think it's anti-clockwise from bottom. All you have to remember then is the first three notes that goes into the bottom one. Then anti-clockwise and you're there. This song's quite easy. I didn't know you had such thin legs, sir. And that's one hell of a scar across your chest. These are representations of the actual people who, well, in their own faces, I imagine. Which means our previous Deku Sprouty self never liked to wear clothes. Well, there's a lot of menu moving here, lots of cutscenes, but it's not exactly a very fluid climb at the moment, is it? Right, so let's get the Elegy of Emptiness to leave us another person behind. Getting over the GameCube stick once again after those massive monstrous fells in the castle of Akana. Just trying to play this song when it's actually out there for me to even see. Send all the normal platforms back. And head over with all due haste. Now I might put on the bunny mask here. Because I like being able to make these jumps in one leap. And not have it look like I'm about to die. It's always a good thing. Right, we got zombies by their tons and millions. And if I'd have to say anything, some place for the Scarecrow song to play. What could be up there apart from the zombie I see? Maybe I should go back and get the Scarecrow song again, but we're going to have to do one monstrous climb to get back up if we do. I'm slightly hoping that we've still not entered the temple. And that there's going to be another owl statue along the way. Is there another switch anywhere? We seem to be switchless now, that's good. Are we actually jumping up there of a normal method? Nah, no, we can go this way. I said, but we can't actually reach it from here. We can't climb that way, so that sucks. Hopefully we can make... Ow! Stop knocking me in the back. Right, we can make it. Just barely. 
Oh, lucky slash there. Not so lucky if I stay around for that boulder, however. Which way is next? Another scarecrow song place. Interesting. I say the next one is up above there, so maybe we need to get up on high here onto this pillar. If anything, that looks like the temple entrance. There's lots of pots over there where the zombie and the scarecrow was leading us. Aha, over there next. Another set of switches. And the lovely, lovely owl, sir. Hello, welcome. So I am writing saying we have not entered the dungeon yet. Ooh, ooh, let's pick ourselves up another fairy in a bowl. That'd be great. So it seems to me like it'd be a good idea to go back and learn the Scarecrow song ever so quickly and then walk back again. Because otherwise we could be stuck if we need the Scarecrow song inside the temple. It's doubtful that we do, but just in case it's something that we need for a fairy or anything like that. Always best to be prepared. I'm wondering what's on that statue's fingertip in the background that there was there. The flames seem like they're hiding some kind of treasure chest or something, if I have to bet on anything. And so there's going to be a lot of zombies in this place and we're going to make a lot more money again, that's for sure. Right, where do I need to go? This one. Guess trading post guy who's always itching. Hello! Oh baby, that's a nice thing you got there, I know. Let me hear a song you wrote on that. An eight no song that we can remember. Da da da! Yow, oh yes, a nice tune, by the way. You know a mysterious song that we don't want to learn because we learned it right at the start of the game. It's cool, bye. See ya, farewell. Waiting straight back. As soon as we get out, of course. We've climbed the stone tower at least. We could have never got up there without the energy of emptiness, that's for sure. Alright then, let's find our way around. I don't think we need to go over to those scarecrow song places right away, if you know what I mean. They're just a bit out of the way. Just mainly pots. Be nice supplies after all, but not really sure if needed. Let's pick up a third fairy. Always useful. And then see if we can activate the entrance over here. So we need every kind of link. Let's put down this mask a second. Every kind of link. Well, apart from Deku Link, of course, who's completely useless. Hmm, do I have to do them in an order, I wonder? Yes, that one probably should be first. Let's open up the way to the temple. I really do think that finger has something on top of it. It would not surprise me at all. Probably this one second. Ooh, a switch, you say. We don't want to cover that right away, I don't think. Um, yes. Let's remember what I'm doing here. So we might need to shoot that switch by the look of it. So we should aim to jump halfway over before placing the third one. The third one might cover up the switch again, I'd imagine. At least if we fall down now, we can just uh, pull back up. Yes, that... No, it doesn't cover up. Well, then we... What? I didn't move off it? Okay. I suppose that I did. Let's leave normal link here, then.
There's lots of those flames around, isn't there? There's one in the eye as well. Derp Link, patrol this switch for me, thank you. Alright then, let's use the bunny hood to make ourselves propelled across. Don't need to roll if we're using it. And if I had to say anything, that looks important to me. I don't know if it is or not. But we can hit it. Find out it isn't at all. It is just decoration. Away back over over there. Fiery finger. It doesn't look like we can get up there. So we finally stand outside the entrance to the temple proper, the dungeon. And so we enter the fourth one next episode. Thank you guys for watching the climb up Stone Tower. Join me for more Majora's Mask next episode as Link poses heroically. Bye bye.